welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS, a continuation of our SEC doubleheader from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. 84,000 gathered in the sunshine for the first meeting between Georgia and Alabama since 1995. The Bulldogs come in undefeated, ranked constant one. They first played in 1895. They last met in 1995. Georgia will kick off. They won the toss and deferred to the second half. And the opening kickoff from Brett Kerouac goes out of bounds at the seven-yard line. Well, a terrific game in the morning. Quick release brings a new dimension to the Alabama offense as a thrower. This second start because of the injury to Tyler Watts. It's Sean Williams. He went 80 yards on the first play from scrimmage last Saturday night in Fayetteville. He picks up a quick three and Coyle under his center. Backs in the eye, two wide receivers to the left side. There's the draw play, Sean Williams across the 45 yard line. It'll be some time before he gets back. On third down, there's a handoff, a flag thrown, and the running back is stuffed. It was Santonio wide right. Knight snaps it back. Three-man Alabama rush. Pass is complete. Left side. First down, Georgia, as Terrence Edwards gathers it in in front of the Texas and Oklahoma. Second down and five after the penalty. Here's Green. Draw play. Lucia Smith. Got some room coming right. A lot of room. Out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 20 against the run this year. That's a first down 10 at the 41 yard line. No score in the early moments. Here comes the blitz. Green comes left. The catch is made at the 35 yard line by Terrence Edwards, a very active receivers in this league. This is an explosive offense. We've heard that all year, but they rank dead last in the SEC coming into this game, but looking very impressive on this opening drive. And this is Tony Milton, number nine quarter. Here's Green, pumps, goes deep in the corner, man coverage, Madison defending, and the ball is dropped, the flag is thrown. This one, I think, is going to be first down and goal at the one-yard line. 6-4, that's a good matchup for the Bulldogs. Here's the toss to Musa Smith, JT Wall in front. Musa Smith strolls in untouched. Touchdown, Georgia. 15-yard run. They just destroyed the left side. I mean, the right side of the Alabama defense just got caved in on that play. My goodness. Of the year. Billy Bennett with the extra point. Up and good. Break off to the right side. Coyle will go out of the spread. Georgia with four down. And they will blitz. Here's Coyle. Finds uh, Sean Williams out of the backfield. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. First down on third and 12. Full speed. Second down and 10. Here's Coyle dropping back with a lot of time. Nice pattern run by Dre Fulgham. And he is loose across the 40 and knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Fulgham coming left and then weaving back the line. Uh, Georgia threatens to bring a blitz, and they do. Coyle, good protection off the back foot, and he fires it out to the left side intended for Triandos Luke. And that will be incomplete. Well, a you can't make too much of it, but I think that the Georgia team has answered that call so far. Mike Zippo with the field goal attempt. It is good from 47 yards out. And he's going after his career win number 150 today. Here's Musa Smith. He is running really effectively here in the first quarter. Inside the 40 to the 38-yard line, the tackle made by Charles Jones. Real energized today running the football. Second down and seven. Here's Green rolling to his left. Intercepted by Gerald Dixon, number four. Stuck his hands up, grabbed it. And that was a line drive from David Green. And Dixon acknowledged. Started a lot of games, but he's playing his best football right now. There's Fulgham in motion on first down and 10. Coyle across the middle, got a man. Big play to his W back. Call that play more than any play today. Third and 12. Comes the blitz. Pollock, or rather, uh, yes, it was Pollock who got there. Just as Coyle let it go. David Pollock, who guys on the field had to run the 11th player on late into the formation. Here's Green stunts. Pressure applied. Green dodges it. And he will run, but is brought down 
It will be fourth down as Green is tackled at the 44-yard line. Well, we've and a kickoff for a touchdown in an NCAA game. Here's the toss left. A lot of room down the left side. Ray Hudson, number 27. Big Alabama game. Green left foot. Senior quarterback who's such a leader on this team. And here's the handoff. And it's Sean Williams. The transfer from Texas Tech who has made his way to Alabama out of Andrew Willis and then began his coaching career at NAIA Southwestern College. Here's the quarterback sneak and Paul picks it up in the 39 yard line. Dennis Franchoni 51 years and Coyle very modest numbers. He's three of ten and has overthrown several receivers. He'll pull it back again. He's got a man wide open finds it. Donald Clark, number 93, the tackles. Third and seven at the 10. Collins, wide left. Triandos Luke in motion. They fake it. Here's Coyle, still has it, drills it, tipped. 28 yards out of Collins' hole. Blocked. David Pollock. And David picked up by Bruce Thornton. And Thornton steps out of bounds. David Pollock again. A severe groin injury a year ago that cost him almost half the year. Third and seven, blitz. Green, nice catch. The question is, where are they going to mark him down? Because Damian Gary. That was a nine yard gain, good for the first down with the need of seven. Play action, Green, pressure from the backside, goes deep for Gibson, and Madison and what Wilson. A catch. He got a touchdown. Anthony Madison was in perfect position, but the ball was underthrown by David Green, and Madison didn't find it. I mean, just a few. It has a touchdown. That's a touchdown from 42 yards away. Billy Bennett's extra point is up and good. These two teams have played each other while both ranked in the top 25. Only the fourth time ever. Here's Coyle, drills it. There is the pass. The authority that people here hope to see a lot. Sam Collins with the catch has never won here in Tuscaloosa. Third down. Coyle goes for Fulgham. Got it. Touchdown, Alabama. is good ricochet what no good and green gets the start with a fresh set of downs quick setup fires it out to his left and that's edwards out to the 35 yard line and a first and they held alabama the best running team in this conference to 57 yards so they did what they needed to do up front there's the draw play bruce s smith in the secondary and all the way across the 50 to the 45 of Alabama. Alabama to 57. Tony Milton, number nine. Going around the left side. First down, Georgia. Fred Gibson, single coverage down at the bottom. Here's Green. Looks left. And that's Michael Johnson, number 25, with the catch. And a pickup of 12 yards for five years running. Now here's Green in a game of a little more import. Handoff goes to Tyson Browning, the freshman, number 31. Kendall Moorhead all over that one. Field. Left hash mark, Kilgo. That's a snap that was low. He gets the hold down, and Bennett knocks it through from 43. Fine job by Jonathan. Yeah, I mean, his ability to improvise to get rid of the football to make something happen as a young freshman very impressive there's williams getting a block out on the corner from brandon greer that was the most significant block of three or four way that uh, tony gilbert plays third and eight from the 19. Doyle, low incomplete fourth down there's john Coyle, the former defensive end for barry seymour <laughs> <laughs> Brian Bostic from 36 yards out. Mm. Yes. 
I was leaning on the no. And that was nearly blocked. I mean, Georgia got... First down and 10, Georgia. Here's David Green. Coming left, he finds Fred Gibson. And Gibson knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. I really like... Game to match this afternoon. 17-12 as we start the fourth quarter play. Play action, Green. Right side, Gibson. He's with Herschel Bolden out there. One-on-one. -on -one. Big Huge play. Push. Third and ten. Three men down. Here they come for Alabama. Here comes a delayed blitz. Green has Damian Gary open inside the 25. What a catch. Oh. After the penalty on Damian Gary, it's first down from the 38-yard line. Here's Green going for it all to Terrence Edwards. Beauty. In stride. Touchdown, Georgia. Anthony Madison for the second time in this ball game has been victimized. Georgia football making amends for a disappointing junior year when he had more than a couple of dropped catches. That's his fifth catch today. 37 yards for the touchdown. David Green, Terrence Edwards, and Georgia has doubled up on Alabama 24-12. Coyle on third down out of the shotgun. Pumps, drills it. Sam Collins has it. And it's going to be a first down Alabama across the 50 at the 49. First down and 10 from the 49. Here's Coyle. Fakes to Williams. Goes to Williams. And that's interference. Clemens was uh, interfering with him. At the 25-yard line, Chris Clemens. And it's a first down and 10 at the 21. Georgia out of position on defense. I just raise up and throw the ball right to the slot receiver. Option play to Ray Hudson. Cuts inside the 15, down at the 10, still struggling. And he's finally tackled at the 8-yard line. It might be the 7. That's Evan Mathis inside him, number 51. Fulgham again. Play action. Coyle coming right. Looks for his tight end, leaps, tries to break the plane, and does. The line judge was right there, and there is a flag down. I think it's going to be defensive holding against Georgia on the tight end who is trying to cross in front of the field. Donald Clark was crossing the formation and was held in the back of the end zone. Holding on the defense, the penalty is declined, but the... I think Brody, Brody Coyle completely shocked Bruce Thornton here by taking off. I mean, how many quarterbacks do this? Elevate from the four-yard line and then get the football across the plane. Wow. Ground can't cause a fumble, and the ball came down first on the ground. Extra point attempt by Brian Bostick. Good. And they're just knocking dudes back on these extra points, though. I don't know. 30. Left side, Gibson. Almost dropped it. Picked off. Intercepted by Charlie Pepper. And Pepper goes in. And Alabama has the lead. to the right side Collins split off to the left you go for two to make Georgia have to kick a field goal to tie the football game option play Coyle cuts back this time he gets it again oh, no. no they're gonna say no boy I thought he stuck the football over the plane again but that was on Gordy uh, Tyler Watts t-shirt special we're all together is what it stands for in this uh, NCAA sanctioned period of time. Here's Damian Gary with the catch. Have all three of their timeouts left. Here comes the blitz. Green steps up. He'll scramble. Now he pulls up and lets it go. And it is in complete at the 35. Down play for Georgia right here. Doyle under pressure. Gets loose. Comes by Jonathan Sullivan. And he's out of bounds. That does two things. It forces Alabama to punt. And it stops the clock. 
Damian Gary is oh so dangerous, and he waits the 50-yard line. The snap is back for Zeeple, and this one not terribly effective. Got away from him, went to the middle of the field. Here's Gary inside the 35 to the 33-yard line. I think that ball went off the... Musa Smith, the tailback. They'll give it to Musa Smith. He keeps it in the center of the field, and that brings up a third down. Ryan Jordan will snap it. Jonathan Kilgo will hold it. Billy Bennett will attempt it. Georgia has never won in Tuscaloosa, but they have now reclaimed the lead. Rock solid there, boy. That ball got up quickly. No chance of it being green has been criticized the last couple weeks. Played well. Here's Goyle intercepted. Picked off on the far side by Thomas Davis. And this one's going to go to the Bulldogs of Georgia. You know what? They did. And they got a, another chance to do it next week at home against Tennessee. David Green, the Georgia Bulldogs. The only remaining unbeaten team in the Southeastern Conference. And they go to 5-0. and oh. There's his dad, Rick, and his mom, Kay. And the Georgia Bulldogs are 5-0 and oh for the first time since 1982, which not so coincidentally was the last time became a part of the story of this game. The Georgia Bulldogs come from behind. They win it by two. First victory ever in Tuscaloosa. For Jill Arrington, Todd Blackledge, and our entire CBS crew, I'm Vern Lundquist, Tim Brando along with scores and highlights after this.